will come as no surprise to you that the ethics of fashion will be explored on your course. Perhaps that's even part of why you chose to do fashion design at the University of South Wales. Ethical decision making is at the heart of our educational ethos. But while we are aware that these issues won't be new to you, it's important to critically unpack and examine more closely the range of ethical issues which can arise in the field of fashion design, and some may be more obvious than others. So the video I want you to watch for this week's session by the Ethics Centre argues that every time we make a choice, we change the world. And I think this is a very useful statement for designers because as designers, we are decision makers. So really design is about making decisions. And some of these we may spend a lot of time on, trying different options, testing, retesting, sampling, reflecting, changing. But other decisions are made more out of habit. Perhaps that was how you learned to do something from a previous tutor, or even this is how we always done it in industry, um, is often something we hear. Why are our fashion illustrations typically white, out of proportions and stick thin? It is not strange as learning is so much about copying and mimicking what we see um, more experienced practitioners doing. But learning should also be about critically questioning these practices. Decisions again may be shaped by the kinds of technologies we are using. The biggest revolution in fashion design today is the development of 3D modelling tools such as Clo 3 d which you will be introduced to next year. But these technologies can shape our practice too and start to make decisions for us. Like, what sort of bodies do we design for and what does this technology make possible? And what does it not make possible? Or what does it make impossible? So it's really important to critically reflect on what shapes our decision making. And what is your North Star, your guiding principle? So you may have a clear idea of what your North Star is already, or you may be in the process of working that out. I hope that as we get through to the end of this year, you will all have a clearer sense of what your ethical compass, compass is as a designer. So can fashion be ethical? To unpack this statement, we need to know A, what fashion is, and B, what ethics is. So if we define ethics as decision-making, which are underpinned by the principles of what is good, what good is will also depend on our values, principles, beliefs, and norms. This is what makes ethics so complicated, because these are often contested and not necessarily universal. And that is why it's so important that we each define our own North Star, the guiding principles which help us make good decisions. Often ethical decision making can throw up dilemmas which make them more difficult to solve. It may be that we lack the necessary knowledge to make a good decision. That is part of why it is so important to do research and gain as much knowledge on an issue or topic before we make a decision. Um, in this age of fake news and conspiracy theories, it can be easy to make a choice we think is morally good. But if the information we base our decision on is flawed or an outright lie, we can end up actually doing harm. OK, so I've chosen two definitions of um, ethics here, one by the contemporary philosopher Peter Singer, who define it as the study which arises from the human capacity to choose amongst values. And Noel Preston, another contemporary um, philosopher, who argues that ethics is the recognition that our life is intertwined with others and that we have a capacity for good and evil. And if we are, have a free will, we have ethical responsibility. And this throws up an important issue. So that ethics relies on our freedom and capacity to make a choice. Um, it is therefore really important to consider what can limit those choices. Then, so what is fashion? Fashion is notoriously difficult to define in a universal yet succinct, succinct way. It may be therefore useful to go back to the short presentation I did at the start of our first year. And here I argue that fashion is about clothes but not restricted to clothes. It's also about these issues of change, creativity, 
It's about an industry, an identity and culture. So clearly fashion is not inherently ethical. As fashion scholar Effort Salen reminds us, it is ephemeral, fun and frivolous. Critiques of fashion on moral grounds has a long history. From biblical prof um, prophets through Seneca in the first century Rome and the church fathers to medieval moralist, fashion and adornment have been condemned for their extravagant, wasteful and vain consumption practices. Typically, much of this critique has been directed at women and feminized men, as we discussed last term used as a way to condemn the feminine. However, more recently she argues that the rules of the games have changed and instead of the consumer bearing the moral responsibility, it has shifted on to the producers of fashion. <clears throat> the corporations which are held to account for the failure to protect their workers and the environment. Now, the answer then seems to be simple. Make fashion corporations more ethical, problem solved or maybe not quite. There are many unresolved tensions at play in the interaction between consumers and producers of fashion. As will become very clear to you during this term, if it isn't already, there isn't one easy solution or answer as to what ethical fashion is. But let's return to the uh, statement which opened up this series of session. Fashion and ethics are incompatible. Ethical fashion is just another fashion fad. What do you think? <laughs>